You know, it's always good when you uh, when a friend of yours can um, focus on just a game and um, let everything else fall where it may. Now, in case you forgot, the Heat had won 10 of 11 before the break. They started the second half with the Kings in Miami. Trap game? Well, let's check it out. Heat started the game red hot. First quarter, three on one break, LeBron James. I don't think the flight from Los Angeles to Miami affected him much. Uh, later first quarter, James can't get that to go, but look at Wade. How many guards can do that? And the Heat up nine. Second quarter, Chris Bosh. Lefty finish. Heat up 20 at that point. Less than 30 seconds ago in the half. James. 14 to 26 from the floor for him. Huge first half for the Heatles. They actually outscored the Kings in the first half 45 44. They shot almost 63%. They led 63 44 at the half. They had everything except the solo from Ringo. Second half, Heat up 28. Bosch with the rebound. He sees Wade running the floor. Now, we got a flashback. You remember that? February 15th against the Pacers. Wade, perfect touchdown pass to James. One of the best passes of the year. And James compared his teammate Wade to the, Bron uh, to the uh, Packers' Aaron Rodgers. And then back to Tuesday, Bosch to Wade to Jay Hall. Fumble. Great pass by Bosch. Great tip by Wade, but... James not able to finish. He did finish plenty, though. He had 31 points in the game. Fourth quarter, heat up big. I mean, the game was never in doubt. Wade throwing up some junk. But, hey, it was that kind of night for the Heat. Everything went in. Wade, 11 of 20. He had 23 points. So no trap game for the Heat after the All-Star break. Chris Bosh says, I don't think we have the kind of guys who would let this be a trap game. They win it 117 to 97. So now let's let's update. The Heat have won 11 of their last 12 now, outscoring their opponents by 10 points a game over that span. Miami has a tough test coming up Thursday. They travel to Chicago to take on Derrick Rose and the Bulls. 